What is up guys hope you're doing good welcome back to another video so as i told you before i'm trying to be active in youtube and i will try to post a lot of videos so today we're gonna do slack lining is one of my favorite extreme sport ever you're gonna learn with us how to do slack lining and what is the slack lining and yeah It's not showing. Now it's showing. Just go through. And you take all the line. All. Always at the level of the line. You hold with two hands. Hold with two hands. Make it more tight. So you don't leave it too tight? Yeah. Woo. He will give you some tips later. Later. <laughs> this is not practicing at all. Yeah. You <laughs> said it's up the line, it's the most advanced one. <laughs> That's why we can do it. Давай! Давай! Окей, okay, я will not. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, no problem. <laughs> so now it's my time to try this one. Yeah, I need to relax. Yes, try to keep rhythm. Yeah, slowly. Be, be like what? Yeah, I felt that at the yeah, end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the end, I feel, feel it. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> you know, when you say nice, usually. Okay, I will not say anything. Yeah, yeah, okay. Just do it. Just say. Don't say it. <laughs> very bad, very bad. <laughs> Please go home. <laughs> He's going backwards. So what is the difference between this line and the other lines? Okay. I think today we have all kinds of lines. Yeah. But in a beginner's perspective. So we have not more than 12 meters line. Mm -hmm. We have two two inches line. So your, your line is two inches. Yeah. The yellow line is two inches. It's the classic line. So the two inches, you have like more space where to put your foot. Yeah. And this one is one inch. Mm -hmm. So it's like 2.5 centimeters. More harder, this one. It's a different feeling if you start with this. It's yeah. Like almost the same progress feeling, but yeah, most people start with the two inches. So two inches, yeah. It's, this one is considered harder mm. because you have less space to put your foot. Yeah. So you, you feel less your foot and the pressure and the line and everything. This one is almost 35 meters. 35 meters, yeah. But it's between. It's co considered a long rodeo line because there is no much tension, as you can see. Yeah. So I can like surf on it in a loose way. So. And also, like, side. what is the difference when you make it tight and do it loose? This one, I don't need to make it tight because with this distance and the material of the line, yeah, I could just go high. I don't need much tension. Yeah. But if you want to tension it, there is a tool. To it will be more easy if you make it tight, right? It's a different style. This is hard for some people. Okay. Okay. For some people. Okay. Yeah. This is the. One of the throws. Hey, hey, hey. Hi, brother. How are you? Nice to meet you, Mehdi. Mehdi? Yes. Yeah. You? Ah, nice. Don't mind oh, the camera. In a primitive way. The orange one. Yeah, where you see the beautiful lady over there trying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like she's actually trying to practice for like yoga poses and everything. So it's a little bit tensioned. It's not tensioned a lot. And it's, we made it like primitive. Primitive means that you don't need like any pulley system or anything yeah you just need carabiners and a very small ring mm. and that's it like three protectors and everything and you usually set up the line in 15 meters and you can do like yoga poses and stuff mm. like this it's yeah. very convenient for people who want to do yoga, yoga yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah guys this is our friend 
used to come every day to the park to train with us. Come on! <laughs> bon appetit. <laughs> Spine straight, knee a little bit bent, your foot here, and you step. But you see, like you extend your upper body and you, you take out your glutes a little bit. Yeah. A little bit, not so much. And then when you start to walk, you extend a little bit the knee, but you keep your back straight and your spine straight. And stay focused in one point. And limit your movement to a very, very, very smooth movement. No sudden movement. No, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Relax. So just like relaxed movement. And shift your weight. You can mm. do this. In back. The beginning. Just Strong. feel it. The line. Mm. Back. Back. Yeah. I'm touching. Yes! Hey! Oh. <laughs> Yay! Good, because you have good form, like a little bit more. 
Yeah, you're super safe there. Just go. Yeah. Stay there. If you never started slack lining before, if you never tried, there is like a few tips for you uh, that you can try, even though like it's your very very first time. For me, I would recommend you start with the heel, always here. You never go for walking this way because if you fall for some reason, you can yes, trip you and fall. The, line. the first tip, always heel, is on the line and toes doesn't matter it can be here it can be a little bit here but i would recommend this way so you feel the line the second tip always arms up always arms up i recommend fingers fingers up because that engages the shoulders yeah okay so your posture should be up always focus on a point that is at the level of your eyes and you can go for two legs or one leg so the one leg you just balance yourself on one leg but you have to bend the knee you always have to bend the knee you cannot go straight knee because that's mm. not going to make you feel good and you're gonna be shaky a lot or the second tip is put your second leg behind you if the line is not too high but for that you have to push the line slowly 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 and then very smoothly push the second foot behind you okay and the yeah. most most important tip is breathing if for some reason you realize that you're not breathing properly try to talk to someone or sing or at least focus on the breathing and implement all the other tips that i just mentioned so for me these are the most important tips if i say more i will confuse you but for now try just these if it works it's good if not you have to join slack line sessions. yes for sure <laughs> every wednesday in el safa park you are and welcome to join for sure yeah <laughs> coach muad here he is <laughs> now you should give me some tips for the surfing line <laughs> i don't practice surfing that much but for surfing you need to practice a lot of rodeo line and what is the rodeo line? A rodeo line is a very loose line for which you don't need any tension, but you need high anchors. Okay. This is a kind of long rodeo line. Yeah. So it has a little bit of tension and bounciness, mm -hmm. but to surf any line that is kind of loose, you need to be very relaxed, okay. not very strong, not anything like. Yeah. So you should focus it's like, more. It's like swinging. You know how to swing in a normal swing, right? Yeah. So you, you shift your weight every time, so you extend your knees, I can show you, you know the normal swing. Right? Yeah. Let's say this is close to the thing that I can give you. Notice how every time you reach the edge, you accelerate the swinging with yeah. the hips. So you fold yourself, you extend yourself, mm. you fold yourself. To extend yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, you can feel it. Made it relaxing. <laughs> That's how I was <laughs> Use your hips. For what? It's, it's called the island, right? It's called the mental, yeah. It's the most important technique if you want to go to high line. I mean, there is another important one, but... Yeah. And Mehdi used to be scared for his balls. Now he's, sma now he's smashing them. Oh, shit. I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm Relax your elbows. I'm going to extend your elbows. Low. Manage. Uh, change your grip. Push yourself. Hit your heel. Push your heel. You can see your heel. No. I'm going to give you a risk. But it's okay. It's okay. I'm going to give you a risk. 